it just has all your different things you can pre-select and customize so you can do that by clicking here so for i may not want to see the shares traded i don't personally really care so i can get rid of that and that'll be gone here you can just choose what you want up top as well as one thing to keep note of this same thing here you have a lot of different pieces of information if you want some things to stay you can just click on the pin and it'll stay in place so you can do you can pin these two so as you scroll horizontally it'll stay in place which could be a good feature if you want to stay we'll just unpin these for now and this is your open positions this is where your orders your pending orders would be you can look at your close positions so if you sell out a position your profit and other information will be here trade aggregator shows the total number of shares traded so just just for fun i'll just do all testing purposes this is a live account by the way so everything here is live and it's very realistic so we'll just do one market by CCL. So trade aggregator is this uh, shows the sum of the buys and sells for uh, any symbols that you have. So in this case, it'll just show a total of one bot for CCL. If we sell it, it'll show one sell. If you buy another one, which I'll do just, just for testing purposes. So we have two shares of CCL now. It'll show up in the trade aggregator. If we sell, it'll show as well. Your order history is where you can see <clears throat> what's been happening on your account. So it shows the two fills we have shows the range order I placed and it shows a few canceled orders as well that I was showing previously. Count details, uh, a lot of that mirrors the top portion but it does show your buying power, your profit up and down on the day, your equity, uh, your leverage and whatnot. So it does have some good information. Start a day equity, which is what your account started at.